It is now my pleasure to introduce our students' commencement speaker, Christy Turcios. <laughs> Christy Turcios was a transfer student from College of the Canyons in Southern California. She's graduating with a double major in chemical and biochemical engineering. She had an extensive undergraduate research project investigating the thermodynamics of ternary lipid mixtures and is currently writing up her work for publication. She was a peer tutor for a number of upper division courses for chemical engineering and biochemical engineering and was part of the UC Davis triathlon team. Christy is also graduating alongside her brother, Miguel Turcios, who also majored in chemical engineering. After graduation, Christy plans to work in the biopharmaceutical industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I am most honored to welcome our student speaker, Christy Turcios. Thank you, Dean Lavernia, for the great introduction. Good afternoon, Chancellor, deans, friends, family, distinguished faculty, staff, and class of 2015. It is an honor and privilege to be here today. As I stand before you, I am reminded of a powerful quote I came across in my kinetics textbook. Booker T. Washington once said, success is not measured so much by the position one has reached in life as by the obstacles one has overcome while trying to succeed. Everyone graduating here today has a unique story that led them to this moment. I would like to take this opportunity to share a little of my own journey. My family and I immigrated to the United States from Guatemala in 1994 in search of better academic and professional opportunities. Leaving our home country was heartbreaking, but my parents wanted my siblings and I to receive the best education. We settled in Southern California where we quickly immersed in a new world. I did not realize how difficult it would be to fit in until I started going to school. I had to embrace a new culture and language. Due to my father's profession, my family moved, moved frequently. Following my high school graduation, we moved to Florida where we opened a restaurant and bought a home. In order to support my family and our new business, I had to put my education on hold. But we only faced more misfortune in Florida. In the face of the economic crisis, we lost what we had built as a family and had to start over once again. I was forced to postpone my dreams even further. However, I refused to let this crush my hopes and aspirations. Once my family became stable enough, I realized that my dreams were still waiting for me. I worked more than full time between three separate jobs while completing prerequisites at a community college. Juggling these responsibilities was difficult and painful, but I knew it would be worth it. Finally, in 2012, I was accepted into several UCs for chemical engineering. I can't tell you how happy I was. I couldn't believe that at the age of 28, I was finally one step closer to achieving my goal. After attending decision day at UC Davis, I knew I had found my dream school. UC Davis proved to be everything I hoped. When classes began in September, I was both excited and scared. As the first quarter progressed, I was impressed by the intellect of my professors and the difficulty of my courses. I fell in love with UC Davis even more. Even though I was afraid at the beginning, I soon felt welcomed by the students and the professors. As you all know, majoring in engineering is not easy. We all struggled with the pace and intensity of the classes and spent many sleepless nights in Boehner, Gossy, Kemper, Engineering Library, just to name a few. 
We spend so much time here that when I, may, I meet someone and they ask where I live, I am tempted to say, you can find me at One Shields Avenue, Boehner Hall. And how can we forget the endless study sessions for midterms and finals and finally completing the ultimate long distance challenge senior design project? Despite the multiple challenges we faced, none of us here gave up. Woo! <laughs> Our journey would not have been possible without the support from our family and friends. They believed in us and encouraged us every step of the way. On behalf of the students, I would like to thank them and everyone who is here today. I also want to thank the faculty and the College of Engineering for seeing the potential in all of us and pushing us every step of the way. This is not the end of my journey or the end of yours. Some of you will go on to work in industry, attend graduate school, or pursue a different direction. Whatever path you choose, never give up. The nine-year-old girl who had big dreams refused to give up and grew up to be the person standing here today, smiling for her dreams had come true. Thank you.